जाए पुछो सुहागनी वाहे कि बाती सो पाई है जो किच करे सो भला कर मानी है हेकमत हुक्म चकाई है जाके प्रेम पदार्थ पाई है तो चरणी चित लाइए सह कह सो की जय तन मनो दीज ऐसा परमल लाइए एव कह सुहागनी भैने इन्नी बाती सह पाइए सो कह सो की जय तन मनो दी जय ऐसा परमल लाइए एव कह सुहागनी भैने इन्नी बाती सह पाइए तन तन श्री गुरु नानक देव जी सच्चे पातशाह पावन पवित्र बाणी गुरु नानक पातशाह सिंह जाए पुछो सुहागनी वाहे कि बाती सह पाई है गुरु नानक देव जी पातशाह जी सही कहते जाए पुछो कहते गौ जाए तो सही कहते जाए पुछो पुछो मीनस टू गौ एन आस्क गुरु नानक देव जी पातशाह जी सज दिस इज गौ एन आस्क जाए पुछो सुहागनी वाहे सुहागनी many times we've gone through the art the translation of sohagni sohagan even within the shabd itself later on maharaj will actually explain themselves who a sohagni is a sohagni is that woman that bride that's taken the complete happiness that's got the complete happiness of her husband but maharaj ji sachche paad sir ji is talking about that bride within this shabd that sohagni sohagni referring to a gurmuk to a gurmuk pyara to that sikh that rangi hui roo that soul that is drenched in the color of love in the color of love for wahiguru ji akal purakh that sohagni that bride that gurmuk pyara that mahapurakh that gur sikh that is completely in love with their guru gur sikh pyaro that sohagni over here maharaj ji is referring to so maharaj ji saying now go can they if you are lost if you're running around and you feel like that i'm not getting anywhere you've tried many things uprala bada kita you've made many efforts but still you don't find that peace of mind still you don't find that connection with your guru and then sachche paacha then guru nanak dev ji paach he saying then this is why don't you then go and ask those sohaganis those gurumukh pyare that have experienced that love for wahi guru ji the have experienced that love for tan tan guru granth sahib ji sachche padshah ji they said if you go to them and ask them they'll tell you what they did to experience that love they'll tell you what they did that they're able to play in the laps of akal purakh wahe guru ji guru nanak padshah ji kehne kende jai puchho sahagni wahe wahe some people have translated it wahe to those saying go to those sahagniyan kinni baati soh pai hai Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Paach Ji, even tell us what we've got to go and ask them. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Paach Ji, saying this is go and ask them that kinni baati. Baati means in which what was it that you said? What was it that you said to your Guru? They're saying ask that Guru Mukhyara. What was it that you said to your Guru that your Guru became pleased with you? Baati doesn't only mean what did you say. Baati didn't doesn't also only mean that what conversation did you have with your Guru? What was it that you said to your guru that you was able to win the love of your guru? Bati also means that kinni bati. What was it that you actually did? What actions did you do? Can we say that kinni bati soho soho means husband? For us, like I always say, when we gonna connect, for us our husband we're referring to Tan Guru Granth Sahib Ji Sachche Pad Sahib Ji our guru. So we've gotta become a bride to our guru. 
and saying kinni baati soh paaye paaye means how did you meet your guru how did you actually merge with your guru become one with your guru and then that sohagani and then that gurmak pyara then that sant then that rangi hui ru that rangi hui ru then gives an answer they'll reply they saying this is how this is what i did i exactly i did this jo kich kare so bhala kar maniye hikmat hukm chataiye they said in this way and first of all if we look at this in two folds in two ways first we're going to look at this towards wahiguru ji and then second of all then we're going to look at this towards our guru guru granth sahib ji sachche padshah first if we look at this to say that jo kich kare that sohagni that gurmak pyara is saying that jo kich kare that whatever wahiguru ji is doing whatever wahiguru ji has done that jo kich kare so bhala kar maniye that i've taken that to be good bhala meaning good whatever that wahiguru ji has done and gursik pyara if we look at this that when we look at this first pankti the question that jai puchho so agni kinni baati so paaye in sri rag guru nanak dev ji padshah ji the first rag within guru granth sahib ji padshah in sri rag guru nanak dev ji padshah ji they ask this question in that in that bani as well so allah earlier on in guru granth sahib ji padshah this bani is on ang 721 and then going on to ang 722 but sri rag is very early on in guru granth sahib ji paatsha ji and guru nanak dev ji paatsha ji they said the same words within that shabd as well in there guru nanak dev ji says jai puchho sahagni tusi ravya kini guni so the first part is very similar and the second part differs a little bit over here guru nanak dev ji paatsha singh jai puchho sahagni kinni baati soh paaye but over there guru nanak dev ji paatsha ji in sri rag they say गुरु नानक देव जी से जाए पुछो सुहागनी तुसी रावया किनी गुणी अगेन आस्किंग दोस गुरमुख प्यारे इन ब्यूटीफुल लैंग्वेज सेइंग तुसी रावया द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन टू रावया मींस टू एंजॉय बट ओवर हियर वी गोइंग टू ट्रांसलेट रावया नॉट ओनली टू एंजॉय बट टू बिकमिंग वन विद वाहेगुरु जी सो गुरु नानक देव जी कहने के कहंदे जाए पुछो सुहागनी तुसी रावया किनी गुणी विद व्हाट वर्च्यूज ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਗੁਣਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵਿਦ ਵਾਟ ਵਰਚੀਜ਼ ਵਾਸ ਯੂ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਯੋਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਸ ਯੂ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਬਿਕਮ ਵਨ ਵਿਦ ਯੋਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਓਵਰ ਦੇ ਦੈਨ ਦ ਆਨਸਰ ਕਮਸ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਸੁਹਾਗਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਵੈਨ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਾਏ ਪੁੱਛੋ ਸੁਹਾਗਣੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਾਵਿਆ ਕਿਣੀ ਗੁਣੀ ਸਹਿਜ ਸੰਤੋਖ ਸਿੰਗਾਰੀਆ ਮਿੱਠਾ ਬੋਲਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਓਵਰ ਦੇ ਦ ਸੁਹਾਗਣੀ ਇਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਾਗ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਆਸਕ ਥਿਸ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਾਗ then the sohagni turns around and says that sahaj santa santok singariya that bride says i decorated myself with something singariya singar means decorations that bride is saying i decorated myself with sahaj santok singariya sahaj over here we can translate to to peace santok meaning contentment and gursik pyare only when we become content only then we can have sahaj only then we will feel peace until we haven't got contentment we won't be able to feel peace now over there the sahagni say can lage kende sahaj santok singariya this is what i decorated myself with mitha bolni with speaking sweet all the time and now and then on over here if we look at guru nanak dev ji paatsha ji's bani over here now coming back to this they saying jo kich kare so bhala kar maniye that whatever wahi guru ji is doing onu bhala kar bhala kar ke manna onu mitha kar ke manna to know that to be good whatever is happening and we hear this very often and this can get quite confusing because this then always comes up people that question arises all the time to say have we got free will have we got free will or is everything destiny ਆਪਾਂ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਵੀ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਮੇਕ ਐਨ ਐਫਰਟ ਓ ਵਾਟਐਵਰ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਦ ਈਜ਼ੀਸਟ ਵੇ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਨਾਓ ਟੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਹੇਅਰ ਦੈਟ ਜੋ ਕਿਚ ਕਰੇ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਟਐਵਰ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਓ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਐਂਡ ਵਰਕ ਆਊਟ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਡ੍ਰੌਪ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਆਊਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਪਾਚੇ ਜੀ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਿਕਮਤ ਹੁਕਮ ਚਕਾਈਏ ਹਿਕਮਤ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਆਵਰ ਓਨ ਕਲੈਵਰਨੈਸ ਆਪਣੀ ਮਤ our sianat our cleverness which is away from the guru's math guru sahib ji saying to understand this what you need to do is hikmat hukam 
Hukam over here means when we're always ordering people. There's one thing we're ordering people around, but then over here, hukam meaning when we're even trying to tell why would you know it should have happened like this. And even in Jabji Sahib, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pachi Ji says as well, Asankh Amar Kar Jahe Jor Asankh meaning countless. Asankh, and that amount of people that can't even be counted, Asankh Amar. Amar means order. When you order, when you boss somebody around in today's terms. Asankh Amar Kar Jahe Jor Kar Jahe Jor Jor means by force. Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pachi saying they said this is countless of people within this world that are ordering people around, are bossing people around, but how are they doing it? By force. They're not doing it with love. And that happened so many times even in the Guru's house. Somebody else forcing somebody to follow the Guru's way. But Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pachi Ji, they spoke about those type of people in that body in the Jabji Sahib, when Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pachi is bringing forward negative qualities of somebody. Asank Murak on the core. They're talking about fools here, Murak. Can they, in this body, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pachi said, I'm going to talk about fools in this body. Asank Murak on the, those that are blind. Core, core meaning, bohati annene, jenanu koch ni dikhai dinda. Those people that can't see anything at all. Amongst them, Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, are those that Asank Amar. That are ordering people around, forcing people. But over here, it means that Hikmat Hukam Chakaye, Chukaye, Guru Nanak Dev Ji saying, take that off, Chokudo Unu. Take away your cleverness. You thinking this should have happened. I know best. This should not have happened. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, it's time now to get rid of that completely. That Hukam, you trying to tell Wahi Guruji what should have happened. Can they now instead, what should we do then? What is this hukam all about that Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pacha Ji always speak about? Guru Sikh Pereo, the way we deal with this is that whatever is all about how we accept things. How are we accepting something? Are we learning from it and then coming out of it more positive? Or are we just cursing? Or are we saying this should not happen? Because why? Because Nara Chahat Kach Aur. Because that us human beings, we wanted it to happen another way. That nar chahat kach aur, but what happened instead? Aure ki aure pehi. But instead, it's a Punjabi way of speaking. And in Punjabi, many people say they can say kush hoor da hoori ban gaya. Nar chahat kach aur, aure ki aure pehi. Because what happened? We was thinking something, but something else happened instead. So go sit better coming back to this now. So all we've got to take from this is that. That whatever happens in our life, it's how we learn from that. It's how we accept that. Are we going to keep dwelling on it to say that should not happen? That chinta ta ki ki jiye jo anhoni hoi. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pachi ke ne chinta ta. Only, there's only point worrying about something then. That pata ni a ki ho jana, I don't know what's going to happen. Always, chinta pavan man pareo hamara. They sing it that my mind is in a whirlpool of anxiety. But then they say, Naam bina kaise? Utra zapara. They sing, How can you get across? How can you get out of that whirlpool other, out, other than the only way out is, is Naam. But I'm not going to go into that, Guru Sikh Peru. Keep and trying to keep to the subject. But over here, Guru Sahib Ji saying, Kende jog chakare so palakar maniye. But now if you look at this Guru Sikh Pyaru, that Jo Kare, now let's talk to our Guru. So then we were thinking about whatever is happening, whatever Wahi Guruji is doing, is to accept that. And how do we accept that? And how are we going to learn from that and move forward from those situations that happen in life? Or are we going to keep dwelling? Are we going to go into that whirlpool? Hey, this should not happen. I wonder what's going to happen next. Chinta ta ki ki jiye jo anhoni hue. Only worry about something that wasn't meant to happen, but everything's meant to happen, so why worry about it? But Kahar, but now, let's take this and let's say this now to our Guru. Let's say that, Jo kich kare, that whatever our Guru is doing, meaning Jo kich kare, that whatever rahat our Guru has given us, Jo sade Guru ne kita sade vaste, whatever our Guru has asked from us, if our Guru has asked from us to wake up at a particular time in the morning, 
If our Guru has asked us to read a certain amount of Bani every day, if our Guru has asked us to stay away from certain things, if our Guru has asked us to do certain things, then Guru Sikh Pairo, Jo Kichkare, whatever our Guru is doing, so palakar manye. Uno palakar ke mandra meaning we accept that sweetly. We accept that to be good. That whatever my Guru is saying, Jo Guru kehe, soi palman ho, har har katha nirali. This is Guru Ram Das Ji Pachji's Bani. Guru Ram Das Ji Pachji is saying here, now we can take this to our Guru. Saying, Jo Gur ke hai, soi pal, jo vi mera guru me no kenda. Whatever my guru is saying, Jo Gur ke hai, soi pal, mano know that to be good. But you know what the guru asks from us? That har har katha nirali. The word nirali means distinct. The word nirali means unique. That when har har katha, when our guru tells us katha, explains to us, katha means to explain. Kathanakarna to explain some, something. Har har katha. But you know the path to God? Har har. But you know when we're walking towards God, that katha, that explanation of how to get to God is nirali. Is very unique. Unique in which sense? Is very separate and different to the arm sansar. You know, to the normal world, the way they see things, the way they live their life, it's very different to that. So when the Guru tells us Jo Gur Kehe Soi Palmanu to accept that as sweet and to be good what my Guru is saying can be very difficult sometimes. Why? Because Har Har Katha Narali. Because my Guru's way of how to get to Wahi Guruji, the way our Guru is going to explain this path is going to be very different to the arm sansar, to the normal world out there. Why? Because Pagta Taisa Sariya Jor Kade Na Aya. Because the way of the devotee is Pagta, Taisa, Sari. Those that are of the world, worldly people and those devotees of Vaheguruji, their ways are very different and very separate. Pagta ki chal narali, chala narali, pagta keri bikham marg chalana. Because their marg, their path is very difficult, Gursik Pyaar. And the first thing we have to do to accept what my Guru is saying, what's the first thing we have to do? To accept that I've got it wrong. First of all, we'll have to accept that we're ignorant, that we're making a mistake. I've not been able to achieve anand and happiness on my own. So, ham andle, and bikhe bikharate kyo chal hai, gur chali ham andle, and to say I'm blind. That's the first step to be able to accept what my guru is saying sweetly. Jo mera guru kenda unu pala karke manana. We'll have to say first to ourselves, Ham andle, and I am blind, I'm completely blind. Twice Maharajiya said it. Very difficult to do though. It's very difficult to put our hands up and say, Yes, I'm lost. It's very difficult to say, I'm getting it wrong. Because there's people are more and more siyane, saying, I'm wise. No, I know what I'm doing. I'm following the Guru, I'm following this right. And somebody else is coming along and saying, No, I, I know better. Ek du, ek du, ek means, Dusre to vi dusra ek hoor upar da upar la mel pandaya. You find someone, they'll say, No, I know exactly how to do it. But then Guru Sahib Ji saying, Utto vi ek da utte fe hoor mel panda. Then another person will turn around and say, No, I know how to do it. So, Pelli Gar Guru Sikh Pyaro, Sapto Okhi Jedi Galya, the most difficult thing to do is first of all to say, I'm ignorant. I'm lost. I'm in darkness. I know that I'm not getting it right. And then only then we can walk forward. Ham andle and bikhe bikhrate. Rate over here means to be imbued. The word bikhe, bikhe means the, from the word bik. Bik means poison. Ham andle and bikhe bikhrate. I'm imbued in poison. What does this mean? Over here we're going to translate that rate not to imbued but instead to entangled and how can we how can we be entangled in poison bikhe bikhe rate gursik pyaro and a lot of the times when we look at the english translations if we look at sikhi to the max or no our apps normally when the word bikhe comes up the word poison comes up it's translated to an evil way of life but no gursik pyaro if we look at this more deeply 
that ham andle first of all we're saying ham andle i'm blind bikhe bikrate i'm entangled in a poisonous way what is poison poison is something obviously that kills us if we used to consume poison it's going to kill us why sadguru ji guru ramdas ji paach ji saying that if you ignorant then you're entangled in poison what does poison do this poison will actually destroy this body but there's some certain types of poisons guru sikh pyaro if we only have a little bit there's certain types of poisons that will kill us slowly and we won't even realize because that's the job that's the nature of poison and guru sikh pyaro those when we live in ignorance when we live in darkness when we live without a guru we are slowly dying it's not this body that is slowly this body is dying anyway ye ta hum aadmi ha ekdam hi mahulat maut na jana we don't know when that time is going to come kya jana ke marhange kaisa marna hue this body our breath is reducing our age is reducing that guru sikh pyaro when we look at guru tegh bahadur ji paach ji's bani they will remind us again and again bird pe ho suje nahi kal pahunche aan this is look you getting old don't you realize that death is coming but guru sikh pyaro but there's another death as well when maharaj talks about poison that we're entangled in poison our spiritual journey that's slowly dying as well our atmak jeevan is coming to a death when we're entangled in poison so what is poison now poison guru sikh pyaro in spiritual terms poison for us is anything that is taken us away from our guru and and in asadi wal guru nanak dev ji paach ji talk about as well this says kur raja kur parja kur sab sansar they said false are kings kur raja kur parja kur are those false are the people of this world kur sab sansar this is the whole world is false and then this is ke fake and ke sache paach kende kur mandap kur maadi kende these mansions that you live in these are all false as well kur basan har the people that sit in these mansions the, the, these people are all false as well and then guru nanak dev ji paach kende kur soina kur rupa kur pannan har kende even gold kende the gold that wear, that you wear on your body kende that is all false as well and we're going to we're going to try to understand this though what is maharaj ji trying to say to us these things we'll never understand without our guru we'll always remain in ignorance without our guru we'll be dying slowly from inside hum andle and bikhe bikrate kyo chal hai gur chali don't ever get caught out in bani it's very important to understand that kyo in gurbani does not mean why in punjabi when we speak punjabi kyo means why but not in gurbani and gurbani kyo means how because otherwise we'd have to say kyo chal hai gur chali why shall i walk upon the path of the guru no over here we're saying kyo chal hai how it's a question here kyo chal hai gur chali how can i walk upon the path of the guru kur soina kur rupa rupa means silver guru nanak dev ji paach is kende false is gold false is silver and then kur pen and har kende false are those that wear these things kur kaya kur kapad kende but don't forget kende not only these things that you are wearing kende even this body is false false in which way false in that way that isn't in a remain that isn't permanent that one day that kaha bisasa is upon day ka itna ka lage thand ka how can we ever have faith within this vessel this panda this vessel it's not unbreakable one day it's definitely going to break e ho ja nahi panda it's not like some of the pande that may have been produced may have been made today some of those pirates pande that you might be up to throw on the floor and they don't break and then they just udda de udde reh jande be gurse but not this panda that this this is definitely going to break one day in it tutna hi tutna ek din gursik pyare jo marji apa that's why paach ji kende kende yes kende that gold that silver that people wear upon their body they said that is false kende but don't ever forget that kood kaya kood kapad kende even this body is false even this isn't permanent they said this clothes that you wear kende even those are false kood kaya kood rupe apar kende you know that beauty that you have so much pride in can they even that beauty can they it's false one day it's here and it's not going to remain forever and then gursik pyaro 
ਆਂ ਦੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਸੇਂ ਥੋਸ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕੂੜ ਮੀਆਂ ਕੂੜ ਬੀਬੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕੂੜ ਮੀਆਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਈਵਨ ਵੈਨ ਇਫ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਰਿਡ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕੂੜ ਮੀਆਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦਾ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਦਾ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਫੋਲਸ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਵਾਈ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦਾ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰ ਟੂ ਰਿਮੇਨ ਫੋਰਐਵਰ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਮੈਰਿਡ ਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਪਾਰਟਨਰ ਪਾਰਟਨਰ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਗੋਟ ਵਿਦਨ ਥਿਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਕੂੜ ਮੀਆਂ ਕੂੜ ਬੀਬੀ ਖਪ ਹੋਏ ਖਾਰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦਾ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਮੀਆਂ ਬੀਬੀ ਦਾ ਵਾਈਫ even they are false why because they're not going to remain forever one day they're going to leave your side kood koode ne hon lagga and then guru saab ji explained to us can they what is what how what when is something false to you kood koode ne hon lagga when you fall when you attach yourself to something kood koode ne ho ne ho means to love something a love here in meaning love meaning when you attach something when you attach yourself to something when you are attached to something kood kude ne ho lagga visraya kartar gur sik pyar when you then forget why guru ji when you attach to something i'm being so attached to that person that thing whether it be gold whether it be silver if you forget why guru ji within the process of that whether it be your own husband whether it be your own wife whether it be this body whether it be your house no matter what it is if it's making you forget why guru ji then it is false then it is an illusion for you but guru sik pyaryo that's why a lot of people ask these questions they say can we wear gold or can we not wear gold people say this is when we when we take amrit are we still allowed to wear gold are we still allowed to wear jewelry if we let's try and understand this through gurbani paame aaj da hi bishani i know it's not the subject of today but can we wear these things let's ask gurbani guru saab ji saying that kood soina that that gold is false those people that are wearing that gold is false as well they are false too kood soina kood rupa but then sachche paatsh ji saying that kood kaya that even this body is false then does that mean that this is telling us not to wear gold because then that means we'd have to get rid of our body as well kood kood kaya kood kapad that even this clothes that we are wearing but they saying they are false too but guru sik pyaryo we've got to ask ourselves one question that if everything in the house of guru nanak sachche padshah ji guru nanak padshah ji's house is very spiritual and it takes you beyond this world as well but at the same time guru nanak dev ji padshah ji his house is very logical as well so first of all let's ask ourselves a question God and what's the purpose why am i wearing it let's not ask somebody else are we allowed to wear it let's ask ourselves why am i wearing it we won't have much to say gursik pyaro if we feel we can't go out the house without jewelry on because now i've built myself up to look a certain way then guru sik pyar then you're attached to it then kood kude ne ho lagga then you've attached yourself you fallen in love with the wrong thing then it's making you forget why guru ji because now that's become your support when were your support was supposed to be what sacha naam mera aadhar ho sach naam aadhar mera jin bhukha sab gawaiya when that gold is not going to be take be able to take away your bhukha if gursik pyaro that we attach to it to su- to such an extent we think how can i ever take this ring off my partner gave this to me if i'm walking down the road if i'm walking down the road and i see somebody begging and i know that okay even i might not have much money in my bank account but wouldn't it be just what's the point of me wearing this if somebody is standing there crying out in hunger would need be better okay i might not have much, um, enough money in my account to go out and spend extra for these people but i've got enough food at home to get by with but if i was to if i'm so attached that i'm not able to see that per- person cry if i'm not be if i'm not able if my heart's not touched when i hear somebody's when i can feel somebody's pain if you're not able to take it off straight away just like guru tegh bahadur ji sachche paatsh ji did as a child when they were 5 years old just like by nandalal ji was able to take that chola off when they saw somebody crying if we're not able to do that because we're so attached just because of where it came from who gave us it then gur sik pyare ho then we got to think about should i be wearing it or not do i feel different when i'm wearing it and when i'm not wearing it 
Do I feel the need when I'm wearing it that I need to just slip it down my arm so somebody else can see that I'm wearing it? Or that garden, what's the purpose of it? It's very simple. And think about this, Guru Sikh Pyaro. First, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, it's very deep, Guru Sahib Ji's Bani, that Kur Soina, Kur Rupa, Kur Pen and Har. They're saying if, you're, if you can't even give up your attachment to these things, which are physical objects, which is gold, which is silver, this is how are you ever going to then reach the next thing that Guru Sahib Ji talked about, that Kur Kaya, Kur Kapad. How are you going to ever give up the attachment to your own body that one day? How are you going to ever get your head around that one? So these things are very important to think about. So Khair Guru Sikh Pero coming back. If we're saying Ham andle andle bikhe bikhraate kyo chale hai gur chale First thing is to surrender. Because when somebody is full themselves, when they've got so much cleverness inside of themselves, that hikmat hukum chakaye First, I've got to give up my ways of thinking, no, it should be like this, no, it should be like that. I know best. That gante prabhu na paye, that gante na We can't get to Vaheguruji by counting, by calculating that I need, I have to have this much sleep. But such a party, they've said to us, to Amrita Vele, Ut, can you get up early hours in the morning, Gursik Pyaru? There's no, our cleverness cannot work over there. We can't come to an agreement. Whatever our Guru says, we will be able to once if you admit it, once we've surrendered and we've said that I'm blind, I'm ignorant, I don't know the way to God, I'm losing, I'm in that whirlpool, I'm drowning, completely lost. Once I admit that I'm, I'm taking that worldly poison, I'm taking that faulted inside of me all the time and my spiritual journey is dying. Day by day, minute by minute, then what will happen? Then we'll say, Sat Guru, Deya Kare. Take pity on me, O Sache Padshah Ji. Tars Khao on Mere Upar. Sat Guru, Deya Kare, Sukh Data, He Sukhande Data. I've not been able to obtain peace and happiness, but Sukhande Data, O oh, giver of happiness, O oh, the giver of happiness, Sat Guru, Deya Kare, Sukh Data. Attach me to your robe now. Attach me to your hem now, O Sache Pathiji. What will happen if you attach me to your hem, O Sache Pathiji? That means if I grab onto your hem, that no matter where you walk, wherever you go, my Guru, I will be only there. I won't be anywhere else. Because if we're holding on to someone, wherever they go, we will go there. Because we'll be holding on to them. And then when we hold on to our Guru, Jithe bhi sada Guru jauga, othi apan jaunge. Paav. That means when our Guru says, Sikha, tum kes na kaat. Then we won't be walking the other way to say, No, I know better. Because why hikmat hukam? Chakaiye, because I'm going to take away my cleverness now, aren't I? That joke chakare, so pala kar maniye. Jai Pucho Sahagani, this is what a Sahagan will say that I let go of my cleverness. All I did was I followed my Guru's way. No, whatever my Guru said to me, I did that. Nothing else, no, nothing other than what my Guru said to me. Sat Guru Deya Kare Sukhdata Hamlave Apan Pali Gur Sikhmeet Guru Ram Das Ji Pachi Sikhen Gur Sikho. Oh Guru Sikhs, imagine this now. Because you know when we recite Bani, we should be able to feel that Guru Ram Das Ji Pataji is saying this to us. Gur Sikh Meet, they're calling us friends. They're saying, oh my friends, oh Gur Sikh Ho. Can they Gur Sikh Meet, chal ho Gur Chali. Can they walk in the Guru's stride? Can they walk now alongside the Guru, Gur Sikh Pyaryo? Meaning, can they don't walk out from the Guru's wrath now? Whatever the Guru is saying, walk along that now. Gur Sikh Meet, Chal Ho Gur Chali, Jo Gur Kahe, Sui, 
ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪੇ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਡਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਇਬਰ ਆਵ ਗੁਰੂ ਸੇ ਜੋ ਗੁਰ ਕਹੇ ਸੋਈ ਭਲਾ ਕਰ ਮਨ ਹੂ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਕਥਾ ਨਿਰਾਲੀ ਪਰ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪੇ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਵੇ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਨੀਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਰੂ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅਨ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਪਾਥ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਸੰਤ ਸੁਨ ਹੂ ਜਨ ਭਾਈ ਗੁਰਸੇਵ ਹੋ ਬੇਗ ਬਿਗਾਲੀ ਦੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਸੰਤ ਸੁਨ ਹੋ ਜਨ ਭਾਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਸੰਤ ਸੁਨ ਹੋ ਜਨ ਭਾਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲਿਸਨ ਓ ਸੈਂਟਸ ਓਵਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਸੈਂਟਸ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਮੀਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਓਵਰ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਸੰਤ ਸੁਨ ਹੋ ਜਨ ਭਾਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲਿਸਨ ਲਿਸਨ ਓ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ एवरीबॉडी दैट इज कमिंग टू द संगत हियर हर के संत सुन हो जन पाई गुर सेव कैन गो एंड सर्व द गुरु सेविंग द गुरु मींस लिसनिंग टू व्हाट द गुरु सेज दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस इट डजंट ओनली मीन व्हेन वी आर सेविंग द गुरु इफ वी स्टैंड एंड डू चोर साहब सेविंग द गुरु मींस डूइंग व्हाट द गुरु सेज दैट चाकर लगे चाकरी जे चले खसमे भाए ता वोक्स इन द गुरुज वे इन द गुरुज भाणा ਦਾ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਸੰਤ ਸੁਣ ਹੋ ਜਨ ਭਾਈ ਗੁਰਸੇਵ ਹੋ ਬੇਗ ਬਿਗਾਲੀ ਪਰ ਵਾਟ ਇਸ ਗੁਰਸੇਵ ਹੋ ਬੇਗ ਬਿਗਾਲੀ ਮੀਨ ਬੇਗ ਬਿਗਾਲੀ ਮੀਨ ਨਾਉ ਡੋਨਟ ਡਿਲੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੇਵ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਅਵੇਕ ਇਨ ਦ ਸ਼ੇਤੀ ਹਰੀ ਅਪ ਵਾਈਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਹਰੀ ਅਪ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਡੋਨਟ ਡਿਲੇ ਇਨ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਉ ਡੋਨਟ ਡਿਲੇ ਇਨ ਵੋਕਿੰਗ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਜ਼ ਵੇ ਨਾਉ ਵਾਈਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਬੇਗ ਬੇਗ ਮੀਨਸ ਹਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸ਼ੇਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਬੇਗ ਬਿਗਾਲੀ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਸੇਵ ਖਰਚ ਹਰ ਬੰਦੋ ਕਿੰਨ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਸੇਵ ਕਿੰਨ ਸੇਵ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਾਈ ਸੇਵਿੰਗ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਾਈ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਵਾਟ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸੇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਵਿਲ ਹੀ ਬੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਸੇਵ ਖਰਚ ਹਰ ਬੰਦੋ ਯੂ ਬੀ ਸੇਵਿੰਗ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਯੂ نو ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਹੈ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਇਨ ਅ ਟ੍ਰਿਪ ਯੂ نو ਈਵਨ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇਵ ਅਪ ਮਨੀ ਫॉर देयर ਫਿਊਚਰ ਡੋਨਟ ਦੇ ਦ ਸੈਂਸੀਬਲ ਪੀਪਲ ਡੂ ਆਈ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸੇਵ ਬਟ ਮਾਈ ਵਾਈਫ ਸ਼ੀ ਮੇਡ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਦੈਟ ਆਈ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸੇਵਿੰਗ some people they're not very good at saving when somebody in their life they'll help them to start saving and satguru ji saying exactly this over here this is start saving up kende kharch naal banno this is you know when you've got to go through this life this is life is a journey they said because you've got to go through this life journey make sure you've saved up something but sache paatsha ji isn't talking about this life they're not talking about accumulating wealth what type of wealth are they talking about the saying sat gur sev kharch kharcha you know when we used to go on school trips and our, and our parents will say ale kharcha la la saving well, they will give you spending money kharcha they'll saying sat gur sev kharch har bandho kende hun ban lo kharcha kithe vaste gur se par utthe vaste for that life after this life when this body goes and we're all alone there's nobody else there it's not going to be physical food that's going to get us by just like it gets this body by it's not going to be money that it's going to get us by but instead it what's going to get us by is if we've served our guru serving our guru again I'll keep repeating it means to listen to what our guru says to follow what our guru says utthe vaaste sache paach kende kharch kuch banne aan naal kende have you saved up for that time saving up for that time for this life after here even whatever we do for our guru it's going to be now going to be used in this life too but guru sikh pehlo we need something for then as well kande sat gur sev kharch har bandho mat jaan ho aaj ke kali kande mat jaan ho kande ki pata kande you never know kande do it why did now why did they say do it quick they say do it quick because mat jaan ho kande ki pata he never know that's what this means mat jano means he never know kende mat jano aaj aaj ke kali o tomorrow was that time going to come to us today was it going to come tomorrow when we actually leave this body when we breathe our last kabir kal karta ab hai kar ab karta soe taal paache kachu na hoega jo sir par aave kal kabir ji bhagat kabir kende kabir kal karta you know some people say i'll do it tomorrow but it's just like that story isn't it guru sikh pyare just like that child goes to school that child goes to school and the teacher says look you always try and get out of doing a presentation it's your turn today the teacher says to the child
you've got to today present to the class. And the child says, this is, let me make a promise with you, says to the teacher. The child says to the teacher, let me make a promise with you. I promise I will definitely, I'll do it tomorrow. And the teacher says, all right. The teacher says, you're not getting out of it tomorrow then. It's only a little story to try and understand these things, what Bhagat Kabir is saying. And then tomorrow comes. Tomorrow comes and teachers waiting, the teachers thinking, I've never seen him come forward or do anything. I can't wait to see. Teacher calls him up and says, the teacher says, you said that you're going to do your presentation tomorrow, didn't you? So go on. And the child goes, of course I did. Yes, I'll do it tomorrow. And he says, I'll see you tomorrow. He goes, I said, tomorrow? He goes, I'll do it tomorrow. Teacher goes, And the teacher falls at the kinda house. And he goes, you'll do it tomorrow. He goes, I'll do it tomorrow. But Guru Sikh Bairu, you've all heard of that saying, tomorrow never comes. What are you thinking about doing tomorrow? means do it today. You know, sometimes you think I'll do it later on today. Forget later on today. means straight away, right now. Can they what you're thinking about doing later on today? Can they do it right now? Why? Can they pache? Can they pache kachuna hoiga? Can they you won't be able to do anything then? When 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 what when that time comes? Jo serpara ave ka when death is standing above your head. Can when the death is standing above your head, can they just serte kari hui na tere maat? Can they all do nite to fi koshe bhi hona? It's gonna be too late then. Kabir ji saying jo tere man vich ya na. कहने हार जाप दिया खेन टेल ना की जई मेरी जिंदड़ी है मत के जापो कैसा आवे कना आवे राम गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी पाज कहने कहने हार जाप दिया कहने यू नो व्हेन यू इफ यू इफ यू थिंकिंग इन योर माइंड आई वांट टू स्टार्ट मेडिटेट आई वांट टू स्टार्ट जापिंग नाम आई वांट टू स्टार्ट डूइंग समथिंग गुड आई वांट टू स्टार्ट डूइंग समथिंग पॉजिटिव इन माय लाइफ then Guru Granth Sahib Ji Paatshi Ji Bani Ji Sahib Kande Har Jaap Deya Khen Tel Na Ki Jai Meri Jindadi Hai Kande Khen Tel Na Ki Jai Meri Jindadi Hai Kande Oh My Soul Oh My Mind Kande Oh My Inside Kande Oh My Mind Kande Khen Kande Not Even For That Moment It Takes To Blink Your Eye Kande Hon Tel Na Ki Kande Don't Be Lazy Kande Khen Tel Na Ki Jai Meri Jindadi Hai Mat Ke Jaap Hai Sa Aave Ka Na Aave Raam can they keep that? Can they do so? Saw on a can they on? Can they how do you know that you're gonna have that next breath? But Guru Sahib is so clever. You know what they do? You know, soon as Guru Sahib says, Can mat jape ke sa ab ke na ave ram, they say ram right at the end. It says gay like a body. Can they can not ave can you never know if it's gonna come or not? So, right at the end of that pankti, Guru Sahib says ram. This is gay like a body rather than I'm gonna keep that. This might be your last breath. So Guru Sikh Pyaaru Guru Sahib Ji saying Neh Balamb Tarmang Balamb Paapang Kande Neh Balamb Tarmang Balamb means putting something off, delaying Neh Balamb Tarmang Kande never put off doing something righteous, doing something good Some people say Kande Haan Jaroor Kande I'd love to start reading Gurbani I'd love to start doing this, I'd love to take Amrit one day But people start putting it off Kande Ek Din Jaroor Mami Guru Sikh Pairo, if you've got it in your mind, you know this Pankti is very important. Listen to this Pankti very carefully. Neh Balamba Tarmang. Balamba means delay. Can they Neh Balamba? You know when you're going to do something good? Can they don't delay that moment? Can they fit Saman Apayan Deyu? Why? Because this is instead, there is something you should delay. Balamba Paapang. They said, you know if you're going to do something bad or negative, can they delay that? That doesn't mean do it later. What Guru Sahib Ji is saying here is, he says, take some time out. You know, Sama, time is a very good healer, people say. So sometimes if, you, if you're about to do something negative, phone up some good Sangat. Take some time out. Don't act on it straight away. With Maharaj's Girpa, if you have that time out, if you, if you have that delay, most likely with Guru Sahib Ji's Girpa, if you speak to the right people, you won't end up doing that negative thing. But Guru Sahib Ji is saying this is, but don't ever delay and acting on doing something good why because you know good when we have a good thought it doesn't remain for very long just like that person 
just like the women just like the story when there's there's a man who's who climbs a, a date tree there's a tree of the where it bears fruits of dates a khuduran da darakht bahut lamba hunda hai oh chad gaya cha de naal he's collecting loads of dates as he's climbing up the tree as he gets to the top of the tree guru sit pyare ho he's collected so many dates and he's thinking wow and then what happens he looks down as he looks down he's thinking how am i going to get down he goes i was so excited collecting all these dates collecting all these fruits he goes i even forgot how high i've come up and now he's scared jadon bande nu dar hunda when somebody's in fear fear helps somebody to remember god and as he's now fearing he does another das he goes oh my guruji he goes if you help me come down he goes if i he goes whatever i've got he goes from this from all the dates i've got he goes i'll give 90% towards god giving towards god meaning i'll give 90% towards the needy so then he does ardas and he feels a bit of himmat he feels a bit of strength because now he feels why guruji is going to help him because he's going to do something good so now he in his mind remember nahe bilamat tarmang don't ever delay something good this is just a story to try and understand mahapurak baba kartar singh honi khas up in drawali used to tell this story as well as he starts to come down he looks down and now he's come about a quarter of the way down he's thinking I could have made it on my own. He says I messed up by doing an ardas and now I have to give 90% of these dates away. And he's thinking, you know why, guru, let me strike another deal with you. So he does another ardas he goes Satguru ji, goes why guru ji? Cuz thank you for where you bought me. He goes, but can I just give you 75% from now? And so he thinks, all right, I'll give 75%. He and you know how the story goes now. He gets halfway down, he's thinking, oh, I could have done this. Why did I have to do that ardas? That fear is going down. Is that time? That time's passing, and now he says, "You know what? Because I'll definitely give you fifty percent." And from fifty to twenty-five, as he jumps down, his feet hit the ground, and he's come down in his mind. He's saying, "I'll give five percent to the needy." As he's running home, he runs home, and he goes to his wife. He goes, "Oh, wife!" He goes, "Quickly, quickly, come out, come out! Give me a bag to put these dates in, so I can go and give them to the needy." She saying why are you in such a hurry he goes you won't believe what just happened he goes i've just seen 90% becoming 5% he goes i don't want this to turn to zero because i just need to get rid of him quick kursik pyare you know when we want to do something good don't ever sit on it why because your mind will start playing games with you it will try and talk you out because the time that ek kadi na milte ta kal jug hota Guru Sikh Pyaro, if we take a moment out from a Wai Guru Ji, that ignorance will take Kaljug, meaning ignorance. That ignorance will take over to such an extent that we won't we won't end up doing that good thing that we was thinking about. This is what today is about, Guru Sikh Pyaro. This when we're talking, when we're going through the Shabd Guru Sikh Pyaro, Jo Kich Kare So Pala Karmani Hai. Whatever our Guru is saying, take that to be good. If our Guru is saying, wake up early hours in the morning, there's got to be something good in it. ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਲਾ ਕਰਕੇ yes it's going to be hard in the beginning of course it is it's never easy right in the beginning guru sikh pyare that even if we if we refer to pai gurdas ji's vara pai gurdas ji will say as well guru sikhi barik hai sil chatna fikki they'll say that guru sikhi is so fine it's like licking a stone i would think licking a stone what kind of example is that licking a stone pai gurdas ji means that licking a stone means that it might not be such a blast if in the beginning who said it's going to be easy when you first try and wake up in the morning guru sikh pyare it's not even easy now after 10 years but a day will come but such a day will come when guru sikh pyare that gurmukh milya subhai har maan tan meetha laya bal ram ji when it will everything will start to feel sweet guru sikh pyare look it's not easy that jo ke chup kare so pala kar maniye that whatever my guru is saying for us to do because we've always got our cleverness in the way if you if we just look at a quick sakhi from guru angad dev ji part this time in guru angad dev ji part this time there was a sect that used to come to kadur sahib he used to stay at kadur sahib he used to actually stay at the taram sahib all the time but nobody ever used to see him doing any seva he used to stay there for weeks upon weeks sometimes but seva nahi karta he never used to do seva kabhi santok singh has written about this in suraj prakash the sakhi from suraj prakash by by kavi santok singh and then this is the seva nahi si karda if guru sahib ji sometimes used to ask him to do something 
he'd do it half-heartedly and then one day Baba Buddha ji looked at him and says, tu kendi, kendi, tu kendi seva nahi kata, kendi, Why don't you ever get involved in anything? You stay here, you stay here for so long, this is why don't you get involved? He says, I'm waiting for my guru to say it to me. Farka pa dita na? Sikhaan de vich, sangat de vich. He's trying to be clever here. Hikmat hukam chaka. He didn't take away that cleverness when he came into the Sangat. And today as well, we've got to be very careful. Sometimes a Gurmak, a Gursek, a Sangat will collectively come together and say something to us. And we won't always take it on board and we won't take it seriously. Baba Buddha ji, Sikhandi tu sevani karda. And he said to Baba Buddha ji, he goes that when Guru Angad Dev ji say to me themselves, he goes, then I will. And over the second, start talking, things start going back to Guru Angad Dev Ji. Guru Angad Dev Ji Pataji knows everything anyway. And now, many, even a few months have passed. He's still there, still not done anything. Guru Sahib Ji has not said anything as well. And all of a sudden, Guru Sahib Ji says, Can they sikha? Can they come over here? Can they, you said you'll do anything? Jo kich kare, so pala kar maniye. What the Guru asks us to do, to take that to be pala. Sometimes a gurmak, a mahapurk, a sant, a jan, Sangat might ask us to do something that doesn't even make sense. It, we, will, we might not even understand it, but a lot of the time, it's not about the task. It's about breaking our ego. To accept it to be sweet all the time is not always easy. And Guru Angad Dev Ji says, Can they my hukum to you? You've been waiting for my hukum. Can they my hukum to you is to go in the woods, go to the forest, get some sukhi and lakara, get some dry wood, Burn that wood and he thought he's going to make a dish for this langa. Guru Sahib Ji says, start burning the wood in the forest and jump into the fire. They say to the sect, this is go to the woods and burn the fire and jump into that fire. And he's like, my Guru's asking me to do this. He runs to the forest. He collects the wood, burns the fire. But as he's looking at the fire, Do you think it's easy to give your life? He's looking towards that fire and he's thinking, And now he starts to think. And he's like, I don't, I don't want to die. I don't want to jump in. And now the test, that moment comes. As he's thinking about this, as time is going in, Guru Sahib Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji Ji, by principle Satpeer Singh, he writes it slightly different to Kabir Santok Singh. Principal Sadbir Singh says Guru Sahib Ji even sent the sex to says go and get him back. I just want to make, see if he actually jumps in. From the other side, there's a chore, there's a thief that's running, he's got a whole load of mal in his hand, he's got a whole load of things that he's stolen from somewhere. He's trying to get away, he's in a mess. He turns up and he looks at him and goes, what are you doing? He goes, what are you doing? He goes, you're about to jump in. He goes, well, I don't know. Because I don't think I can do it. He goes, why? Why would you jump in anyway? He goes, my guru. He goes, my guru gave me hukum to jump in. He goes, I've heard about if a guru asks you to do something, the chor said. He goes, I've heard if a guru asks you to do something, if you do what the guru says, he goes, then the guru will liberate you in this life and in the world after, and in the life after. He goes, I've done chori, I've done bad things my whole life. He goes, how about this? If you're scared, if you can't follow your Guru's button, he goes, how about if we do a deal? He goes, you can have all these things that I've stolen. He goes, you'll be rich. He goes, you'll get through the rest of your life. He goes, let me take your Guru's button and let me jump in this fire. He goes, I know once you earn what the Guru says, he goes, you can be liberated. He goes, I'll jump in the fire. And the Sikh can take Can they give me all the mal? He thinks he's getting away. He thinks this is lottery. He goes, I'm so, he goes, I've ended up with this. He goes, I didn't even have to earn this. He goes, look how much I've ended up with. He collects, he takes the stuff. He goes, I'm so, I'm rich for the rest of my life. He runs home, Guru Sikh Piyareo. The chores about to jump in. Tabi Santok Singh writes that he actually jumped in. Principal Satabir Singh said that the sect that Guru Sahib Ji had sent, they reached at that time. This is, who are you? Can they, I just bought the Guru's button. Gurka bachan basse ji nale, jal nahi dube, taskar nahi leve. Pa hina saake jale, the Guru's bachan. How much should you look after the Guru's bachan? No matter what, even if the ocean comes to try and drown that bachan, what the Guru has asked you to do. 
You don't even let that ocean drown that bitch and take it away from you. The ocean of what? The wave of desires, no matter what comes your ways, you don't let them take it away from you. The Guru's button goes up. Gurka button, basse ji nale. You take it right inside of your heart and you don't let anything take it away. Jal nahi dube, taskar nahi leve. You don't let any chore take that button away from you. Whether it be calm, whether it be crowd, whether it be lob, whether it be mo, whether it be hankar, you don't let them touch that Guru's button from you no matter what comes your way. You don't let any fire burn that button from you. No matter what happens, Guru Sikh Pyari, you don't let the button, that button of the Guru be touched from you at all, no matter what. He's saying, I've just bought this Guru's button. He goes, I'm going to be liberated. I'm about to jump in this fire. He goes, I'm so happy. He goes, people were after me. He goes, I was looking over my shoulder. He goes, what kind of life was I living anyway? He goes, I've done so many sins. He goes, I never would have been forgiven. He goes, but I know if you find a true guru, that true guru will forgive you as long as you earn their button. Can they walk? Can they what a great sect you will make? Can they let us take you to Guru Angad Dev Ji? You don't need to jump in. He spent his life in Guru Angad Dev Ji's in Charan. He went home. And people started to see how, how, how has he become so rich? They started to investigate. They realized that he's got stolen goods. He got taken to the inspector, to the police of the village, that Gursik Pero, and they told him that he's to be hung. His life came to an end anyway. He, bec he was hung. Why? Because he turned his back from the Guru. Jo kuch kare, so palakar maniye. It's not easy always, Gursik Pero. To say that whatever my guru but in the end you'll get suck it's having that faith though and it's not putting it off don't put it off earning the guru's bhajan earning what the guru is saying so let's just finish off with the akri art whatever our guru is saying know that to be good take away that cleverness that always hukam, doing hukam, ordering why Guruji should be like this. Say to Guru Sahib Ji, oh why did you have to make Amrita Villa? Why didn't you just let us sleep in? Don't try and order the Guru, Guru Zik Pyaru. Let the Guru remain the Guru. Okay? We try and become the Guru. And then, Jaake Prem Padarat Paiye Jaake Prem What will you get if you fall in love with the Guru? What will you get? Jaake Prem Padarat Paiye You'll get Al Padarat Padarat of what? You'll get Gyan. You'll get self-realization. You'll get the biggest thing that you could ever imagine that is self-realization that you are a soul, that you are a soul. You're not just this body. That's what you'll get in return. You'll have that gyan, that brahm gyan. And then jaake prem padarth paye to charani chit laye. How will that happen? To charani chit laye. If you keep your chit, you always remain focused in the Guru's charan. The Guru's charan is the Guru's sikhya, the Guru's teaching. If you always remain focused in the Guru's teaching, that's how you will fall in love. That's how you will get gyan. And then soho kahe so kije. Whatever our husband, our husband Guru Sahib Ji says to us, so kije, do that only. Tan mano DJ, give him your mind, give him your body. Tan mano, give him your mind as well. Tan mano DJ, asa parman laye. Parman means perfume. If you want to smell, if you want fragrance, bring that fragrance, put on that fragrance, put on that parmal, that giving your body, giving your mind. That's what El Sahagani, that's what a happily married bride that has taken, that has got the happiness of her husband, meaning a Gurmukh Pyara, that Mahapurk, that Sant, that has won, that has taken all the happiness of the Guru. That's what they will say to us in return. They will say all these things that we've just gone through. They'll say, Ev kehe hai soha agni pane. Inni bati soho paye. They say, Inni bati soho paye. This is in this way you will get to merge with Wahiguruji. You'll get to merge with your Guru, become one with your Guru. So, Guru Sikh Pyaru, Itniak Benti and Parvan Karnia. Ek ni par anika hikalti a hugiahan. Anjana bacha Guru Sikh Pyaru. سمجھ کے معاف کر دینا سو آؤ رال مل کے گاج گاج کے بلاو فتح واہے گروہ جی کا خالصہ واہے گروہ جی کی فتح